Hello and welcome back to part... Well, if you are joining me for the first time, it's not really welcome back, is it? So I should be saying is, if you've come from part one, congratulations and uh, thank you, I should be saying. Wow. Sorry, I've just been through a few hours of attempting to edit the previous part, so I may be a little dazed. Anyway. Last time I left off here and hopefully... Actually, I'll have to apologise because the sound was not that great in the first part. Hopefully it'll be fixed this time around. And with that, let's get going anyway. So, right, I need to go this way now. Like these notes, and I don't need to tell you... Oh my goodness. I really don't like it when people say what they're doing on screen, and I just went and did it. I'm pretty sure show and don't tell is a much better method of doing things than what show and tell is. I mean, that's my personal belief on the matter. Oops. Just, that kind of works, I guess, but not really, because that's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> Excuse me. Goodness. So, yes. I've just learnt the hard way that I should probably record multiple parts in one sitting. That way it'll be easier if I can just make copies of the file, etc, etc. Again, thank you Ray J for clearing that up for me. Anyway, earlier I mentioned, last part actually, I mentioned backtracking. And this is part of that unfortunate process due to just mainly, more than anything, due to the locations of the moves in this world. Doesn't matter how you approach it, you'll have to probably backtrack at least once. Go grab that jiggy. And uh, how many am I on now? Uh, five. Okay, I'm doing pretty well, I think. <laughs> Patting myself on the back for no good reason. Okay. Yes. It's good. So the rest of all I need to do should hopefully be just down here. I did that right, good. I did that wrong, not good. I missed. Oh, I say I missed, I mean I got him to miss apparently, so. so I'll just jump into that because I can. Ah, I'm sitting and telling you. What I mean is. Let's continue. Whoops! I didn't even know you could do that until just then. Apparently it's possible to hurt yourself on Pompa's foot by jumping. And that's, I believe, the only time you see Chimpy in the game. Or maybe in the credits. And he didn't come back for Banjo Tooie. So, I guess they didn't need him. Or something to the effect. Oh, I guess I'll go and get the move in a sec. Whoa, the sound, because I have to hear this through headphones, the sound is a little bit behind the motions I'm making and it's throwing me off a little bit, but I will get used to it, because the image goes with what I'm doing, so in my attempt to fix the sound issues from last time. And so I Bowls has so many molehills, must be like an amazing network underneath Contilda's lair throughout the worlds. I mean, I theorise that perhaps Gruntilda, sorry, perhaps each world is far away from the lair and that you walk there via going into the entrances to each world. Oh, thank you, Bottles. Must know you're more than just moves. Oops. That was perfectly intentional. <laughs> no. Third time's the charm, as they say. Apparently not, because I can't even get up there now. Okay. I'm up. One egg. Good 
jump. I thought I didn't need to fight one egg in there or something. Ah! Crap. <laughs> Maybe by my part. Okay, try again. Yes, I've completed this game to 100% a few times in my life. I should have a basic idea of what I'm doing. Actually, when I was a kid, it took me forever to figure this out for some reason because I just thought Conker was invincible. I never actually tried firing a third egg into him. Yes, and that humiliating aspect of my past now revealed, I shall... I think... Yeah, the only thing I've got to do now is... Actually, no, two things. Go get Juju's eggs. I mean, no, feed Juju. The totem pole. Hello, Juju. Um, I didn't time that very well. And I failed at that. Oh, I double failed. Okay. Go down slowly. Okay. Just collect this one. And I'm nearly done with this world. Going for Mumbo's hideout. <laughs> Mumbo's hideout <laughs> makes it sound much more epic than it actually is. Uh, he won't go. It's interesting because his voice is much higher when you hold down the A button. There, just a demonstration of it. Reason far from the eggs to be up here, but got most of what I lost back, I think. Wait, I completely failed because I just realised that there's a mumbo token that I completely looked over, completely missed. It's got me repeating myself, and it's in here. And no, I, <sighs> it's interesting when you, you think you're on a roll when you're talking and playing at the same time and then suddenly something like that happens. I apologise for that delay. Okay then. Uh, I shall, uh, yes. We'll do. Whoops, just bumped the mic there, sorry about that. <clears throat> I hope my chair doesn't pick up on the mic too much. Also, when it sometimes it makes squeaks and stuff. Well, if you can really call this thing a chair, I mean... Yeah, it's not like you can see it, so... It's a chair, but it's... Just one of those chairs that... It's kind of just a frame and a cushion, really. Probably not very good for my back. But, you know. Wow. I am failing big time here. Okay. I'm up here now. And that should be good. When I know where the last six notes are, they're in the water. And there's a reason I left them there. Because it's easier and quicker to do it as a turn mode, I find. Uh, I don't need to get every egg. Don't want to worry about doing that. Okay. Let's get out here. Get that life for no good reason. Stop talking about what you're doing, Joel. I mean, um, one Yoshi, twenty-three, one hundred and twenty-three. Um, actually, that's interesting. I've never seen a speed run where they've done this as the turn life, despite the fact that it's perfectly doable. So, oh, let me just check the tiles. Ooh, don't hit the wrong thing. Yeah, good. Okay. 
Oh no, that was quick, but I processed it. Anyway, let me just check. Okay, I'm at 10 minutes on this part 2 recording, apparently. And I cannot walk in the 64 version. I'm pretty sure they allow you to walk in the um, Xbox Live Arcade version, apparently. So I will open up Treasure Trove Cove. Whoa! I don't know why he'd want sure to be worn by someone else. I don't even know if that's a he, but not that that matters because that termite is a threat. That's all there is to that termite. Being it is a threat. I really shouldn't automatically. Miriam. Okay. Oh, I used to be able to make it to that door. I probably didn't jump in. Yeah, I know I didn't jump in time. <laughs> Make it disappear before anything. Okay. Thanks, Waddles. Okay, it's L, R, and B to skip text. I just tested it. <laughs> as you... Um, as you definitely just saw the... Thing. I'm not sure what I'm to say. Oh. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you were first and last. And I just read that out loud. Okay. Now... I guess the only reason you can remove pieces is in case you decide to open a world out of order. But there's really no point worrying about that yet. And yeah, I'll make my way over there in a minute. First we'll talk to Brentilda, who I believe is actually a fairy. She's Gruntilda's sister. Um, Gruntilda is half fairy, half witch. Obviously she didn't get the fairy side of the family though. Because Gruntilda's only got the witch side in her skin. Uh, that probably sounded worse than it was supposed to. Anyway, let's talk to her. She brushes her teeth with tuna ice cream flavoured toothpaste. Could be worse. She also washes her hair with angel oil. <laughs> That just sounds so weird. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Okay. I'm not gonna run into this, probably. Okay. And I get rid of this guy. Don't know why I did that attack. I don't really need to worry about recalling the help of that drastically at the moment. But activate the war. That and dump the microphone in the process. That's good. <laughs> I'm sure that's perfectly required. Anyway. So. This move's very useful. I will refuse to not use it. I mean, well, yeah. I think that makes sense. I was ready for him. Now. The two most useful cauldrons in the game are the pink and this red one, I believe. Wow. I'm just kind of going faster than the game text here, aren't I? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, you didn't just do that to me. You didn't just do that to me. Okay. Actually, there is a way to fall off without taking edges without taking damage. I'll have to try and employ it if I remember to. Anyway, and if this is Treasure Trove Cove, I'm pretty sure you can already tell. And I will be entering here next time in Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I hope you enjoyed this video. That because if at least one person enjoyed this, I've done something right, and that's really what counts to make someone happy. And on that note, I will see you next time.